Hi there and welcome back. Happy Christmas. I hope you have a lovely day whether you celebrate or, or not. Just enjoy, enjoy today. So I'm here just to do a little um, relaxing video. It's the last day of the seven days of using my stash. Um, so I thought we'll, we'll just sit um, if you want, you know, half an hour away from um, the bedlam of, of the day or if, um, you know, you want, want a bit of company, here I am. So I've got a tin. Um, I have sorted it out. I have thrown some things away. And when I say throw things away, I mean you know, those ridiculous tiny, teeny scraps that we save. And this is kind of as small as I've, as I've you know, um, saved. So this is my tin. I've laid um, some, some things out um, and I've found some buttons. Can you see them? Yeah. Um, so next year I'm doing a blue uh, theme so I'm going to make some some blue ones and I know that I found some bluish buttons with this blue one here so we'll use that I think that's a blue or is that a black it's either really dark I think it's dark navy blue so we'll use that one so that's two we'll use one one of the um, pretty diamonty ones that was off um, a blouse that no longer fit me um, we'll have one of these clear ones um, we'll have that's got black around it I don't want that then but I could do it back to front so it was just gold so we'll do that so that's five what else can we do Shall we just do a little wooden? Oh, we'll do we'll do that pale uh, wooden one. So I've done my needle. Um, I'm using a needle. What's one of those um, no thread ones? So you just pull the thread uh, down. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. And um, these are you know the bases that I'm going to use. I like starting off. Um, with a base so I've got some uh, blue materials and I've got this um, Tim Holtz little square what's left so if I do it down to there thinking I'm gonna do them as not as stars but that kind of um, shape because it's a um, it's like a well, it's a winter um, kit, so I'm thinking, you know, snowflake um, type thing. So I'll do two in that, pop that back in. Um, I've got this, which is, I don't know what it is. I think somebody had cut some... <laughs> Uh, flags um, and they'd, they'd sent me all their um, leftovers because they didn't know you know what what to do with them so that's one lovely and these are the right colors really this color and I'll save that one so that's four. I'll put that back. I'm just gonna cut that little thin bit off because you know that's that's no god. I mean, you know what, what can I do with that? Um so we want another two. I think I'm gonna do it in in this colour instead of using that, that dark oh, dark blue. This is some material um that I got from, from my mum's. These was uh, the material from from the curtains what she had in the front room so I'll put that up there and that one there okay so we've got as as bases uh, going and then um, I've got some white laces that's not my needle is it no 
and um, it's like a grey uh, blue so I'm going to see if I can get six out of this because that would be nice Uh, two, sorry. Three. I don't think these are the sharpest scissors. Is that four or is that five? Four. Five. Six. So we'll put that back on. I've we'll slid off the, the table and I'm going to put some white. Um, over over the top. Did I say I was making um, <laughs> button like button clusters? I don't know if I said or said or not. So that's those. Okay. And then let's have a look what this looks like. That's nice. These are actually from. Um, these strips they're from a pack from uh, Tapeology and um, they do some little packs with um, bits of bits of lace I do have a coupon code for um, Tapeology which is in my description and the code is also in there and I make a, a small commission and you get um, a percentage a percentage off so if you don't have a lot of I mean a lot of people have got a lot of laces and stuff I don't because I don't I don't use lace a lot especially whites and things um, so it can be can be quite handy there was other colors in there was pinks and blues I think I sent the pink well I would have done sent the pink ones to to De Denise so yeah I didn't really need all this variety did I and instead of you know hacking into all of them I might as well just use use the same same one because you know you could use those as an edge um, down, down your journal. I think they're about is that the right size they look like. So yeah, they'd go down down your page in your journal and then we'll pop that one there. Okay. So we'll pop those back and here we go with the buttons. We'll start off with a two one. I'm not sure how to do um, those, are they called like shank buttons? Um, I'm not sure how to sew them to be honest, but we'll give it a go. So I don't bother knotting uh, mine because I find if you knot it, the knot comes, pulls through anyway. So I just pull it till there's a bit of a tail and then I just just hold on to it until we've gone through and then after you've done a couple it, it's fine it doesn't doesn't pull through I'm using uh, some linen thread I've actually bought the linen thread to um, to say say my journals but um, I found I didn't find it very strong um, I pulled it once and I snapped it, so I've never, I've never used it for that um, again. So I thought I'll get it out. I think that'll be be enough. I'm just going to go through through the stitching and just go through that loop. And I suppose I ought to do it again. Yep. Okay, and then I'll cut that, cut that off. So that's one. We're a bit off centre, but that's fine. You can also put, you know, bits of fluffy wool in. Um, some eyelash trim that always looks very pretty, but um, I haven't got got any out. And if I want to add some, I can just um. 
got a natural knot there. I can just wind it around uh, the button after because uh, it can be a little bit fiddly keeping it in the right place um, while you're sewing. So yeah, you can you can add that after, or you can put some some behind it. So they don't need many, any stitches. I'm obviously filming this before before Christmas, so I think today is. Let me turn around if I've got. It's the twelfth. So I've half wrapped. Um, well, I've wrapped all the family's presents up. So um, Ryan's took his um, to his mum's and his brothers. He's got two brothers, and they've both got partners and one of his brothers has got two two children so he's took those um i think they're gonna pop in uh christmas christmas eve they tend to they live about 30 odd miles um from us um so yeah they tend to just nip for an hour uh christmas eve the traffic must be horrendous, but yeah, I don't know what's happened there. But we should just carry on. I can cut that that bit off after. Um, so yeah, it's took all those, and then I've wrapped um, my older two daughters up and their partners, um, my auntie and her husband, and the grandchildrens. Just got to get their cards uh, wrote and then they can they can go off so all I'm left with is uh, Ryan's Colin who's the dog if you don't know and Eleanor and I need to write um, their cards as well I don't send to neighbours anymore I used to always send to to neighbours but um, nobody seems to seems to bother so let's uh, get some more cotton so we've done three already so it's a nice relaxing you know you could sit and do this in bed on a tray if um, if you wasn't feeling great or you could do it uh, on the settee while you're watching something and it's it's oh why am I taking them out there I like that grey one though <laughs> um right let's have so how do you do these I mean obviously it's going to stick out a bit I'm guessing so it's like in out in I think Watch that that cotton doesn't come through. So, yeah, I don't know how this is going to sit. Maybe I would have been better um, snapping the back off and gluing it on. But we'll see. I've got some more of these buttons. So if it is a bit chunky next time, um, I will know. So I feel like this is going to take quite a few stitches to to get it to not wobble um, about don't worry about the back of the back of it they're going to be stuck down um, onto something yeah, it doesn't seem to be tightening tightening up much okay to my fingers this is well not my fingers um this bit here i don't know if it's raining or not i keep hearing um something yeah i'm not sure about this one but it does look pretty don't even know if i'm going into the into the hole. <laughs> How's that? We 
it is pretty. I'm going to scrunch it up a bit more because I think it would it would look better that way. But then I don't know if I'm going into the thing or not. But if I do this a few times, I think it'll make it be a little bit scrunchy. No, not really. <laughs> it's not, does it? <laughs> I thought it would. Right, I did catch it that time. I think that's probably probably sufficient. And then if you're not liking um, the shape, you can always round them um, with your scissors a little bit. I like to wait until, until I actually use them, um, you know, because you might want to cut them down to to fit nice on on something so that's a bit of a it's a bit of a mess at the back <laughs> i don't know if i dare um cut it off or not <laughs> watch my button fall off <laughs> yeah nearly <laughs> but again it looks pretty <laughs> so that's that one right have we actually got any cotton left so I don't know if I want to do that other one. I don't think um, I don't think they're right for for these. And you probably would be best with with the hot glue uh, to stick it down. And I haven't haven't got it on. Right. Come on, where are you? That's it. Um. So we watched the first uh, Christmas film last night. Uh, we watched The Grinch, which is uh, probably in Ryan's top three Christmas films. Is um, I would say Bad Santa is <laughs> his second, and uh, his first is National Lampoon Christmas. <laughs> I don't know what my top three would be. I'll have a think about that. I like them all. Apart from um, the Hallmark kind of uh, ones. I'm not into the gushy uh, ones. I did watch um, Last Christmas, Last Christmas. <laughs> and um, that, that's a romantic one. And I did really like uh, that one. But um, a lot of the romantic ones I, I'm not that keen on. I know a lot of people love, like the uh, love actually, um, but I've never been been that bothered about it. We'll put this one on here. Like so. I do like um, Guardians, League of Guardians. I know I'm, I said that to somebody from America before and they hadn't heard of it um, but she did she did find it I think on Amazon and she said oh she was so glad that I told her um, about it she'd really enjoyed it I love the classic Home Alone um, and yeah we watch that well we watch them all every single year um, and it you know, it reminds me of, of being younger. I do quite like uh, the Christmas Chronicles, which I think is on uh, Netflix. And they've got uh, Goldie Hall, Horn as um, Mrs. Santa. And um, who is she married to? Is it Kirk Douglas? Um, and, and her husband's uh, Santa. So I do really like those. So that's those ones. And then I'm going to be doing um, some masculine um, projects. So we'll see. We'll see if we can get some to look a, a bit masculine. I've not got any uh, black material. I'd say it makes it a lot easier, those... Um, no thread needles so i've got some more grungier uh bottoms oh i forgot to do that one. Oh well i'll use it another time um three four five six 
four, that looks grungy, five, six, I think. That one probably wants cutting. Mind you, we could have a long, a long one. So we'll have those like that. We'll have that like that. Oh, I've got too many, haven't I? I'll cut that one a little bit so that can be square, that can be square. So that's six. Um, I'd got some, I'd got that one out and this one which has been uh, tea stained. And I'm going to cut through the middle ish like so. And Let's um, feel like I might have to get some burlap out or something just to give it a bit more of a, a rusticy uh, feel. that's that one um, I think I'm gonna put this on these ones so that's just a bit of like uh, crocheted trim and I think it was a thick one it looks as if I've cut it cut it in half at some point so I'll pop that there okay let's have a look I don't want to lose Let's um, see. So I've got some brown wool. I've got a bit of uh, brown lace. What's that? That's a little bit of um, like sorry. Some very um, tea stained there. Oh, some uh, hessian. That's probably what I'll do. Ooh, now I am doing something grey and mustardy, so I'll keep that out. Sorry if I'm talking uh, quietly. I just, I don't know, I just feel like being quiet today. <laughs> I think I must be um, conserving my energy. I've still got cold, but um, I'm not. I'm not poorly. Oh, what's happening here? One, two, three. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I don't feel poorly. Right. Let's um. It long. Got off that one on that. So I think I'll put that on there just to just to use it. So I'll say that one's that one's ready. Um, do I want that behind there? Yeah, maybe. I don't want another one with that. What about pulling this on? Nice. Oh, is my needle in here? <laughs> yes, it is. And I'll just put a little square of this has the, uh, burlap on that. Yeah, that'll do until we, until I, I start sewing them. So I'm going to pop that one on there. 
that's only got two. Oh, I've got that brown lace that's with me needle. Oh, that there. So I'll have that on there, a smaller bit on there. And I'm going to go for some Hessian burlap, sorry, behind it, like so. Okay, so that's those. I'll keep that brown out just in case I want to wind uh, some around. So, what have we got? So I've got a big button here. That's nice. Let's do that one. It's a bit of a chunky one, but... This might snap. I'm gonna have to just take it to to there because um, it's I can't explain but I'm sure you'll know what I mean it's it's like threaded down so it's got a big a big lump and I think if I pull it it will it will snap so I don't know if this is like too ply or three ply but it's it's uh, one of the plies that's scrunched down I think one more and then I'll knot it probably won't have, have enough thread to do to do another one Let's <laughs> uh, cut that off. Yeah, I like that. And then you can do it do it that way, um, and it just saves saves um, trying to catch it under under your button. And I suppose you'd be best to just pop a bit of glue um, on there. So I think that makes a big big difference. Let's take that off and find where that clump is. I think I've cut it off, so let's go again. But yeah, I think when I did that, I probably um, went through one of the... That's it, that's okay. Right, I forgot another big big button let's go with this one oops it's falling to bits put that there if I'd have got oh I've got two the same there I might put two um on that one so I mean they don't use a lot of scraps but they use some and they are they are good embellishments and they're the kind of embellishments that you can put um, on on anything you know they go nice on envelopes tops of uh, journal cards you can use them as like tabs decorate your front cover I suppose it depends how thick think you want them and if you was doing one for your front cover um you know you could you could go to town and make it quite quite chunky have a really nice nice big big button right i think that's sufficient i'll go through that yeah i don't even think i knotted it then Do it again. That's it. I'm gonna cut that. Cut that off. Cut that off. So that's that one. Should I put some some fluff round round this one? To be honest, you probably don't even need any glue. 
I think if you wind it around a couple of times I don't think it's gonna gonna go anywhere leave that hanging a bit look yeah I think that makes a big a big difference I'll grab some um I don't know if I've got some blue um so I'm gonna put two buttons on this because I do that a bit like like that so you can see it a bit more let's just cut it down a little bit okay and I think the first button if I catch that there so I'm just just into to the burlap Yeah, I think it is raining. Keep having some pitter pattering. We've had a couple of really nice sunny days, really cold but really nice. Um, and then we've just had a couple of, you know, quite drab, uh, nothingy days. I don't think we've had any rain for. Oh, for about four or five days, I don't think. So, yeah, we do some. I think, you know, very long without um, some rain. Yep. But, oh dear me, sorry. I bet that made you jump. Made me jump. Right, where's the other button that matches this one? Here. So I'm going to pop that there. Well, I have enough cotton here. Let's make it work. I don't know if I can hold the needle with such a little bit of cotton. That's it. Is it? Yeah. Right, so we'll just get that so it catches. Catches that. We've not had any snow here. I know some places in the UK have, but we haven't. I think the last time it did rain, it was a bit like a sleety uh, rain. And they did give some warnings out for snow, but um, yeah, we didn't. We didn't get any. It's been quite icy, icy mornings. I'd say Ryan's had to de-ice the car every morning and he's been off work uh, last week. It's his last day off today, Monday, uh, so he's back at work tomorrow because he'll have to work the Christmas period. He'll, he'll get um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off. I like that. So that's that one. How long have I been on for? I'll do a few more and then and then I'll pop off. So I'll do oh, and that happens sometimes. But it's not as bad as struggling with um, getting the cotton in the hole definitely not I think I'm going to put that tiny uh, button on there oh. stay there there you watch it's quite long that one is isn't it got a lot of fluff oh I've pulled it through I thought that was it right again <laughs> that was I was just practicing. Okay. We've not really had any uh Christmas food yet. I've got some tins of chocolate in, but um we've not started them. 
Well, not as I know of, we haven't. And um, I've got some shopping coming on Friday and that's got a bit more Christmassy food in. Um, so a few more days of filming and I'll be I'll be right in front and then I'm gonna start my um my Christmas holiday. So as soon as I start my Christmas holiday, that's when the chocolate's being opened. <laughs> the chocolates, the Baileys. <laughs> I don't drink very much at all, but I do like um I do like a Baileys and I like a, a Ruby Port. Um I do like a little bit of um, bourbon and coke um, and I like a, a fizzy, a fizzy wine but um, yeah I don't, I don't tend to, to drink now but um, yeah I do like a bit of a tipple over Christmas. I think that looks quite nice. I wish that had been on the front. So that's that one. I'm not going to put any fluff around that one. I'm going to put this bigger button on. I know it looks a bit too big for it but I quite like it. So you'll have to let me know um, if you are celebrating Christmas, um, you know, how how it's gone, what did you do, did you cook or did somebody else cook or did you go out, I'm going out, I'm booked in um, for a meal at 12 o'clock, so we're going to open as presents in the afternoon, which is new. Uh, for for us, but now Alan is um, older, I think it will suit us uh, better. So that's why I've booked us to go for a meal quite early, and uh, it's pretty local, so we won't be gone uh, long. Yeah, I like that. So that's that one. Let's um, hope there's enough in here to get that one done. Do that button and then I will say bye-bye. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to, um, it's like, it's a local, it, it's, a, it's a pub, but um, it's an eating kind of pub. Um, we went there for Boxing Day last year and it, it's very local, I think it's about a mile and a half up the road. It's all paid for and I've ordered, um, you know, a bottle of wine for, from the table. I think, I don't know if it's, I think it's five courses. But um, with it being, you know, a pub kind of setting, I don't think it'll be a long drawn out um occasion because I'm sure they'll you know have later later sit-ins um, which is it is fine uh, because that's you know that's all we want we want somewhere to go eat come home and um, you know or get on the settee and and relax so that's that one so I really like them so that's that's the the brown ones and then we've got the blue one. Shall I just um let me just grab some some wood so we can have a look at the difference um that it makes on the on the white and blue ones. I've got a little bit of blue there. Um I think that might be all I've got. Hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> In blue. I've got some uh, white, I think the, the blue will 
give them just a bit more, a bit more colour. That's that one. Yep. So I wrap some round here and <laughs> not pull the button off. I was thinking if I can wind it around a couple of times because um, you know the shank part of it's quite narrow it's um, not making it stick out a lot so that's better I think that one's cutting around let's say that's better so that's that one Let's do it on that clear one. Yeah, you probably need to go around it twice for it to to look anything. And I think it's waste of time me cutting that off to do another because you know there's there's not enough. So that's that one. And I've got some I've got some white. that one let's use use this one that's that one. this one's quite a, a thick um one surprising some of them are really thin and then others are really um thick and and bushy. Yeah. Come on. Can't get round it. That's it. That's that one. Last one. I think they do look um icy. Let's go around this one again. Set. and that's that one so there we have it so thank you very much for for joining me and like i say i hope you've had a lovely day um let me know what you've been been up to and um i shall see you very soon bye for now